Howdy, 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 gamers. Welcome to the audio video test for Scarrow's Get Great. It's a live stream, so mostly be going at it solo unless someone wants to join in. Game over here, let's make sure. There it is. I'm gonna play a couple games in the beta while we wait. It's kind of like the day just for asking questions and stuff. Got any questions? about like game strats uh, mechanics character mechanics movesets things like that i can hopefully answer got a couple questions because it's been a while since uh a lab stream has happened since combo breaker What's up, Hunter? Do do. The question regarding Eliza applicable to today's stream. Uh, was is your question in the uh, live stream questions? I don't think I, I've added it there yet. So let me see. Add more questions. Go check the thing. Lateralist? Yeah. It's a lab stream today, so we're not actually doing get great. It's a time to ask questions kind of kind of stream. You played yourself, sir. Ripperoni. <laughs> Sorry. Couple of the questions. Put in 
Some people may have made comments, so I don't generally add those because they are not exactly questions. The question, question ones, things. Um, let's see. Exactly questions, so I will. <laughs> Take it easy. It's not a question. I see yours here. <laughs> Questions or just comments? I reached the double. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So, right now, we're just going to be chilling for a little bit. If you'd like to play some games, let's do so. I'll make it open up. We can also put this in the uh, angle Discord. Okay, okay. so I'd like to play a couple games in this dangle beta. I'll put this on the link right here. And then we'll play a few. Be great. Or get great. Let's look at games. Intermedia. And. would like to play some games in the meantime. Well, I'll just kind of like hop on a quick match and do a thing.
Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, lateralis. Let me see. Question, what was your question? Appearing at is not good. How have you never seen anything specific brought up about her? Well, yeah. The reason you don't see anything specific brought up about, a, brought up about Eliza is because a lot of them are just down players. Or they play Sekhmet. They say they play Eliza. They play the skeleton. Actually, yeah, let me switch over to, or I guess we'll just play for a little bit. Hey. <laughs> Eliza's a perfectly average character, I'd say. She's pretty good. I am, she's good. Most people will say she's pretty average. Plays all Eliza, actually. Not exactly something you should be talking about. You generally want to start your combos with crouch lights. You don't want to exactly go into crouch medium kick, especially because that's uh, PVG seeable. PVG see punish. Fine character. Fair and balanced. One more time. Who will our star be tonight? Showtime. I didn't get the I didn't get the PGC, brother. Rip. 
Maybe it's not just something you want to rely on. Oh, one more once. One more once. Holly, what's up, Holly? Thanks for the raid, brother. How you doing? How you doing, gamer? <laughs> Let's go, Holly. Oh, rip. what's up, Ruby? Can't a little too early. Watching the VOD from Salty. Ah, uh, okay. How'd you do it, Salty? Yeah, we're in the live stream, so get some questions lined up, brother. Just coming in here, ask some questions. I'll lab it out for you. Right now, we're just kind of doing a uh, just doing an open lobby right now. A VOD review on Monday. True. At fifth? Nah, fair. Ruby, you had him. I swear you had him. Don, of course. Don is a top eight player. There's a lobby link, by the way. Y'all want to hop in and play for a little bit before I get started answering some questions. You got fifth, man. Fifth and fifth, dang. You won the blind pick. <laughs> I threw the blind pick, that's crazy. Swing's turn to get paid out. True. Good burn. <laughs> According to Keikaku, dude. If it's the boy, it's the boys, not collusion. In the outside world. It was 
definitely me yesterday. Sounds like a plan. If you'd like to hop in the zombie, play for a little bit. Otherwise, I'll just kind of go into a quick match for the next like four minutes or so. Oh, you didn't, Freddy didn't exactly uh, make a question. There's just like a comment. Very open ended. Probably stuff with getting around zoners as Philly and Annie. <laughs> That's not exactly a question. I also definitely need to be. Thank you. Back sheet. For a bunch of stuff, because we've had a couple of repercussions. It's been a while since we've done this, so I've seen some new things at least. Let's see. Let's see if there's gamers on beta for now. Oh, good. It's okay. Other people gaming on beta. Imagine they're all gaming on retail. So let's let's do a quick swap to retail. I mean, most of these questions don't don't actually like. There's no real like, change or different uh, in retail and beta for these questions. And there is a backlog. Ooh. Why the game so quiet? Real quick, it's a quick match. Who doing a dang on quick match? We're attempting to join a room. Attempting, attempting. There it is. Why, fine. Let's see. It's all already in there. The Wi Fi bail will wham. A round start age crescent. I was right. No. Forward. No. Oh, rip. Oh, rip a brony this character with its awful air dashing.
Oh, rip. Got H knuckle. Mad unfortunate. Rip. Oh, game. That is awful. Ooh. We'll do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Oh no. Bop, 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 bop. What's up, Dunce? If you wanna hop in here, you're chilling. more match head right into the line <laughs> yeah woman train a woop 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 oh sorry north knuckle i don't know i was wrong wow they managed to get that do it again do it again Do it again. 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 No, no, do it. Oh my god, he pressed the button? Actually? What? <laughs> oh, he pressed the button. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, GG's game. We're sorry. <laughs> Three more of those. <laughs> do it again. Alright, gamers, welcome everybody to Skull Girls and Get Great. We're doing a lab stream, so if you've got any questions uh, about any of the characters in this Dangle cast, uh, I can probably, you know, uh, respond with uh, a bit of clarity, a bit of uh, now knowledge, some, 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 some like that, you know. Um, normally, people who uh, sign up to Skullgirls Get Great, uh, when you sign up to the forum, there's a question at the end. It's like, if you, if there's anything you want to see for the lab streams that usually happen at the end of the month and or fourth week of the month, you know, um, ask them and I'll put them in our Discord. By the way, please join our Discord. Exclamation mark D S C R D. So. There's all the questions in the dangled uh, lab stream questions channel. Sticks, I think. Oh, yeah. So we're just going to be labbing stuff today. We're just going to be sitting, chilling, probably labbing for an hour and stuff like that. You have a question? What's your question? Uh, can you go over how to utilize the defensive mechanics of the game? You know what options are? I cannot use them well at the moment. Uh, sure. Uh, best way to do this is probably 2v2, and I'll just use my normal team. I'll 2v2 it and then go ditto. Bonk. Uh, cuz. So, defensive mechanics of the game. Of of them, they are plenty. So, let's go with a uh, normal block string. Let's select button. Okay, cool. That's my normal block string. We're just gonna go with that. So, normal defensive cam mechanics of this game. Normally, you're gonna be put into a pressure block string something like that that's usually how i start off my pressure because i like to do that it's a very so there's it's very chip heavy a lot of strings slightly difficult to pbgc uh if you don't know the timing and uh quite difficult to contest at a distance uh especially because of the uh m luger plus the drill kind of you know covering both ends there and usually i do another m luger to be able to cover the assist that's how you protect your assist but so 
Defensive mechanics of the game, we have this. Good old push block. Whenever you do push block, it puts your opponent into 25, get to, you get put into 25 frames of extra blocks on, uh, to be able to remove some pressure off yourself. Uh, whenever you push block, you see that there's a green flash that happens in the middle of the screen right there, where all my buttons are. Uh, this this right here in the, the top middle, just below the timer. A green flash happens, meaning that you're able to input uh, a move. It doesn't matter what it is. You can PBGC anything in this game. Uh, but whenever you see the green flash, you're able to input a move within those 25 frames. So depending on where you push block is your window for you to be able to input a move. So get right there with my green flash. That is one way to deal with this pressure string. Whenever you PB, uh, whenever you push block or PB, you get your window for a PBGC. <laughs> you can't see the grass with the green flash 90% of the time. Are you are you colorblind? Serious question. Are you colorblind? <laughs> it is kind of it is kind of hard uh, if you're not like directly looking at the game mostly. Uh, and kind of knowing your timing depends on where you push block in a string. So if, right here, yeah. On the second hit, it's usually not until like the third or fourth hit. You can't. You can. You can PB. The first hit. The first hit. It's a lot quicker. But then you kind of, depending on what the string is, you can actually be put into a worse situation, uh, push blocking earlier versus then later. You're not colorblind. That's understandable. So here's a way to deal with this string. So push blocking, and then in the that 25 frame window, you're able to green flash, input a move. Uh, it can be and it can be whatever you want because you can actually mash it too if you if you so choose. But then it kind kind of lets you uh, kind of puts you into a bad situation. See, because that this pressure string is kind of ridiculous. It covers a lot of options, so you want to be careful about where you push block. Like. You see my window is directly when the assist hit me so necessarily not necessarily you want to push block exactly at the beginning or at the end in this pressure string you actually want to push block in the middle because <laughs> then you hit the point and the assist and you're able to actually pick up off of that like that yeah so you know when it's pvgc but you don't see what the green tells you oh yeah it's kind of for me like i don't i don't I don't base the timing off of when I see the green flash. I base it off of like the last few end frames of push block. Like it all it all depends on where you push block and like how you push block. But um, yeah, I usually I usually go by game feel. Not, not necessarily like seeing the flash in training mode um because the flash happens like frames later than than what you would normally input so that's kind of that's kind of hard to see um but yeah that's one defensive mechanic or two technically uh so you got push block push block guard cancel is what they call uh because whenever you're guarding you're able to do that those those shenanigans um, the other thing that I'm not sure if the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the in-game guide tells you about Alpha Counter. I remember, like, back in the day, because I've been playing this game for too long, that it didn't tell you what Alpha Counter was. I think it does now. But, like, Alpha Counter is when you press forward at the tag button at the same time while you're blocking. So, but if, if you get a chance to block, so that could put yourself into a more positive situation, depending on where, where are you Alpha Counter in. So, um, this is also different for duo versus trio because duo you can do either either the medium medium punch medium kick tag or the heavy kick heavy punch tag. It doesn't matter, and then you can put yourself in a more positive situation that way um, and kind of counter counter all the way like that. Um, uh, but if you're to, if you're the trio, uh, medium punch medium kick actually uh, is your assist one. And then uh, uh, heavy kick, heavy punch is your assist too. So depending on who you want to alpha counter into is very important. Uh, it's definitely more important uh, when you're playing trio than when you're doing duo. It depends on what you're most comfortable with. Um, 
But those are your like few defensive options. Uh, aside from that, um, another thing you can actually be doing is like up forwarding, depending on where you are on the string. Counter supering is a thing. You could be doing that too. You don't necessarily want to up back because you see it puts you in a pre block. It's kind of it's kind of rough, a little bit difficult in that case. Um, but depending on where you push block, you can actually up forward too, uh, or neutral jump. But neutral jump kind of puts you into, into a. Uh, to a situation where you're able to act uh, just at, uh, right out of right out of pushback. See, so you can actually neutral jump out of certain situations right after the push block, um, but all, it all depends on your on your push block timing. So you can actually punish this way. Um, and you can see that push block actually carries all the way through because when you're rising, you'll still be guarding. Um, so then you can actually press a button directly after that. You can hold up. Hold, I'm holding up all, all the way through this. Yeah, I'm holding up all the way through that. So. You can punish. Get yourself that's basically taking your turn back so if you know what the block string looks like you can you can actually time your push block to essentially quote unquote guard cancel even though you're not flashing green but you're still like taking an opportunity to be able to push block and then punish something um but then you, you get into the omi and then it's like okay so i'm out here i push block that they did the heckin assist call into m luger all right I'm, i neutral jumped cool i can press a button but then they can also counter super you so then you're kind of put into this yummy situation and figuring out what your what your okie options are and all that good stuff but yeah uh neutral jumping is a thing up forwarding also a thing kind of harder up forwarding but but also possible But yeah, you can get you can get certain punishes depending on you know what the what the uh, the block string is like, uh, and everybody's block string is totally different. You get different kinds of pressure. So knowing the timings for all of that, it takes a little bit of time and a lot a lot of experience when you're flying, fighting players. So um, you got options: jumping, up forwarding, especially in your corner in in the corner up forwarding, just push blocking, and then just trying to up forward like super jump up forward is kind of a good option. Uh, neutral jumping, to be able to press a press a button or you know try try to time an option. Push blocking, guard canceling, alpha countering. You got a bunch of those. So depending on what your situation looks like, depending on what you kind of meter you look like, you can you can jump the block. You want to you can up back, but the problem with doing push block push block into up back is that whatever move that happens next is actually puts you into pre block. So you're not jumping necessarily. And if the opponent knows that you're you're pressing up back uh, after the PB, it puts you into pre block. They can actually low you. So then you're actually putting yourself into a, a punish situation. That's why you want a neutral jump because your your guard is canceled, or like you you have you're no longer in block set at that point. And up forwarding also takes you out of block stun, or pre block rather. Um, so you don't necessarily want to do that. Because look at that. If, if I try to up back, right, I just get stand block. So if I try to up back to block, that's not gonna work out. You can also just sit here and wait. And the ticket option take an option you can also just sit there like and see what they're gonna do yeah sure you can hold the block it's also not that not that bad of a thing uh yes <coughs> uh it does work versus headless force headless fortune stuff um that's a little harder to do mostly because headless fortune is ridiculous pressure um and it's like kind of knowing what strings that they're going for especially for the, for the when the head is in the corner they're doing too okay you want to push block the first hit of that immediately and then up forward out as soon as you can otherwise you're kind of stuck in it and that's kind of rough uh because misfortune kind of just turns super plus at that point it's very annoying in that sense um but yeah 
all this all this applies to any kind of pressure in this game um some is some is harder to get out of than others mostly because of the nature of sometimes this character is just kind of busted so then you get strings like this what do i do oh my god unless you know unless you know what to do then this is like this is why you would probably want to practice that kind of thing but defensive options yeah uh, normally, if, if you're dealing with Headless Fortune Pressure, um, especially it's like 2k to Headless, um, you, you, you definitely want to do that into your invul move, or super, depending. Yeah. Hopefully that answers your question. Mostly helpful. Helpful. Get into the questions for the other things in the Discord. Let's go to Squiggly. Uh, Squiggly is a fun character. I'm mashing? I mean, you could be, but not exactly against Fortune because she's small. So if you're doing, unless you're doing SSJ, brother, and you're not Bale Point mashing the thing, you're challenge. True. Challenging is very different than mashing. Can confirm. Very different. Oh, I should pick the Evo stage. What's the Evo stage? Evo stage, what are you? The Evo Arena, it's. Why did they change it again? I. And now I have to remember everything else, Lord. Oh, well, I don't know what that is now. Evo Arena, though, for sure. Off topic question, sure. I wish they used different music for this. Like, I very much want different music for this. I like the blue tip, though. Blue tip, oh, what? <laughs> like the blue tip in this one. What's up? Uh, everyone, since everyone is a mix-up character, how do you approach choosing a character? Uh, what do you mean? You just kind of choose whatever character you want at that point. That's extremely broad and very open-ended. Um, you just choose whatever character you want. There's quote-unquote counterplay in this video game uh, where some characters perform better than others in certain matchups. That is a thing, not necessarily like beholden to that though uh, because any character can go up against any character in this game and perform pretty well depending on composition and stuff but like yeah that's what i thought i would have wanted night arena that game music that that is gorgeous so this is Luxamina Tours. They, they made a comment, uh, but they had they were like ideas for routes with burst bait setups, solo composition. The goal of the game is not exactly to mix. The goal of the game is to reset. Uh, in an ideal and perfect world. That this game does not exist in your your opponent does not get out of mix or out of your resets but that is never true or ever the case um if everyone's doing that you want to choose characters based off of their tools then i choose characters based off of whatever the heck uh i chose fukua because fukua looked cool and then i discovered she has pretty nasty mix and then i was just like cool this character's even cooler to me then honestly i went by character design uh so <laughs> I went by character design. Fuku look cool, sweet. I'm gonna learn this character. Awesome. I'm gonna stick with it. Awesome. She has, <coughs> she's got snazzy mix. Cool, amazing, awesome. I'm gonna do that too. Uh, yeah. Uh, you don't necessarily pick a character just based on what the the quote unquote goal of the game is, because I, I don't particularly see this game as uh, goals unless I'm trying to practice something. Um. Something like that, you know, practically in a match. Um, but, like, you just kind of pick whoever you want. And if, if they jive with you, then for sure. And if not, then you just kind of see if anybody else kind of, you know. It's whatever fits your hands. And whatever fits, like, the the approach that you're trying to take in this game. Um, uh, I was just like, I'm just going to learn everybody. Because I want to know what everybody does. And then I happen to roster mate. Oh, 
What about the cool sister? She is the cool sister. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, got Squiggly. They want to do some burst bait with this character. Examine the turret. Kind of a the classy one is to go like for the outback JLK. Um, That's a classic one. Neutral jump or outback jump. JLP. Okay. Uh -oh. You can also do the same thing with JLP if you're at the right distance slash height. Uh -oh. Reset that idea. You, uh, if you use the mini punch earlier in the string. Yeah, she's, she's actually that thin, yes. Depending on your distances and stuff, you know. That's a burst paid idea right there. It's pretty easy. Uh, I fall in dizzy, you normally go for the back, up back JLK. Uh, you can actually do this into dive as well. Um, this into JHP as well. It's kind of it's kind of hard to contest with JHP like that. You don't normally want to do these loops because they scale so much. Kind of hard, but yeah. Some ideas there. Uh, you can do the same sort of thing, like if you want to burst bait with uh, again uh, that. Go, oh, live a mortis. You want charge normally, uh, but you, you can get the burst bait off with um, charge mortis there. Got charge mortis there. So you want you want to get the charge. Then you want to do this. Uh, again, charge Daisy. Want to charge Daisy? Yeah. And then do all the shenanigans and then you, you're able to do this twice and get a burst paid off of that uh depending on your spacing um uh, i don't remember for that okay uh, you're able to get like up back jhk Oh, in the corner. Yeah. Like that in the quarter, yeah. So you can get you can get a burst paid like that. Mm 
Oops. But I wanted to do that. But yeah, those are a couple ideas for that. We'll do the turbo. Keep it trucking under the next one. So it'll stay too long. Uh, let's see. Steam Gorilla. I think that that's just a comment. So right now we're going to skip. Ba -ba. Uh, that's a general comment. Um, I just went over what, what's the right time to push block uh, a little bit earlier. That's from Mace Traps. How do I know if a character is a good fake anchor? Anchor? What? How do I know if a character is a good fake anchor? Feed them in a specific team or gender. If you want to know what what's a good fake anchor, dude, brother, everyone, everyone in they ma has one of these. You put any character, and then there's a big band in the back. Everybody got a pocket band. They don't play big band. They play big band assist. That's a good fake anchor, brother. If you, if that's what you mean. Um, definitely like big band. Definitely like Eliza. Definitely like we got another anchor idea here. Annie. Uh, who else have we got? Man. Uh, Fuku to an extent. I don't know. I don't really know about Fuku, but you know, honestly, anybody that's got a point and then a big band in the back, they fake as heck. <laughs> <laughs> Jiffy don't call me out like this. <laughs> Definitely fake anchor right there. If that's what you're talking about, gamer. That's from uh, Bilinos there. Uh, let's see. Uh, what options do I have available to me in neutral besides JHP? But based on any, what's this? Struggling to develop a robust neutral game, especially on the ground. I want to be able to have multiple ways of approaching. Blah 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 blah. blah. I would like to help understanding how to get with owners. I probably use DP. I'm not sure what they are in reference to, so I'll have to ask them about this later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting called out. <laughs> Listen, that's been the meta for years, so I'm not surprised that anyone else is still doing it. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm calling out everybody, okay? <laughs> I've never had an anchor band and be fake, personally, because I decided to learn band. <laughs> like, any tips on neutral? That is very generic. Uh, uh, okay, that's a comment. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, Philia Fuku and double in the team? Any order? If you think it has synergy, what assist positions do you think the characters should use? Um, that team is so flexible. We would normally call that like Team Deer or Team Josh or Team Me because I used to play that a lot too. Uh, yeah, double. Uh, personally, if it were me and I'm playing the Heckin team. Uh, L bomber, M bomber maybe, H bomber too. Uh, then Philia here, uh, DP assist or if you want pressure, hairball, pretty decent. Uh, drill kind of functions the same way, so I would either uh, do H drill or M clone, uh, or I'd rather really M clone, or you could do L clone. I will not vouch for any of the fireballs. I think that's garbage. Uh, so I would probably do or a clone here. Mostly because uh, Hairball kind of serves the same purpose um, as Drill would do. Uh, so this team in any order is really heckin' good. Doesn't matter what, what what you play. It depends on what you're comfortable with, if anything. Like if you like playing double point and want Fuku Anchor, or you're comfortable with you know, you're more confident in your Philia, so you want to put Philia Anchor and then have Fuku at the top. And it depends on what you're going for strategy-wise. Um, but like it has hella synergy. This team has so much synergy. Pretty good. True. A little hard to do this. Try to get that kind of synergy. They get the hit on the other side, it's kind of fun. I don't know, too decent damage here. 8.2, not bad, you know, with the assist right there. You don't get the same level of synergy as, as you would with drill because it's less hits and it also keeps them grounded. Um, but you know, it's decent pressure. I 
and try to get that. Those kinds of things. But this is pretty good for pressure and stuff. Because you can do the flesh slip shenanigans. And, you know, kind of enables all the stuff. Um, Fuko enables this sort of M Shadow mix that you would normally get. Um, and it kind of does what, you know, what the one would normally do on point. It all depends on what you want to run. But yeah. This team's got a good synergy. Super much synergy. It's pretty good. Pretty dang good. Any order is pretty good. Uh, help with finding out of the corner. Kind of, that's the push block sort of deals that, that I explained earlier. So that'll be that. That's from Taco. Um, uh, how would you build a Val P double team? Not, ne not necessarily in that order. Uh, Val P double. Uh, if I were playing the team, I don't play Peacock out of... Um, not spite, out of being reasonable. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I don't, I don't know. I know Peacock things. I don't want to play Peacock, though. Um, Val. If it's Val, honestly, this. Um, and it's P in the middle, honestly, George. Uh, and if it's, what is it, double at the back? Uh, double's probably, like, H-Bomber. H-Bomber, uh, M-Bomber, or Clyde, really. I guess you could do L-Luger, which covers the horizontal, but meh. Um, yeah, I would like you this, to be honest. Yeah, this is how I would build the team, personally. That's got a pretty good synergy, too. Uh, if you go, if you go into, what would it be? Our knockdown into Peacock Tag, and then you got Val in mid. Um, you can do some long reach confirms using Savage Bypass. Um, if you've got point... Peacock doubled in the middle and Val in the back. You got yourself decent pressure full screen, especially from bombers covering the horizontal. Um, when you're doing your heckin' uh, uh, zoning loops. So, I mean, yeah. That'd be me. Unless you really, like, want a DP, then you put L bomber, but then it's like, you're just kind of down back doing DP if that's the case. Like, you shouldn't be in that situation if you're playing Peacock, personally. Um, but not that's how I would structure that team. That's from Ruby50. Uh, how do I get better at talking while playing streaming? That's not a thing for skull girls. Just in general, you keep doing it and then you get used to it. And then, you know, just then next thing you know, you're just kind of running your stream. So <laughs> you just got to keep doing it. Like with anything in life when you're practicing stuff, you just keep doing it. It's fine. Uh, how do I, how do I use my assist better? I run H the night beam and H beat extend and when to call my assist out. Uh, generally speaking, if you are playing Robo Band, we'll just put Robo here, it's H Theonite, uh, Bam. Personally, I wouldn't use H Beat Extend. That's, that's a, I don't know, it's a weird one for me. Uh, I've, I've seen people have some mileage with H Beat Extend, but normally if, if people are approaching you, that's when you would call the Beat Extend. Uh, if you're a big band, you wanna, you wanna make sure that your pressure is decently safe. Uh, let's put the, set the, uh, the bot to block. Move to mid-screen. Hmm? Kinda wanna make your pressure safe. You kinda wanna make your pressure safe if the bot is blocking. Um, yeah. Um, otherwise you, just, you can just kinda like, the night this, if you wanna do one of those, long do one of those get the full screen confirms like that full screen confirms. you're with the quickness i'm pretty sure you can do that uh but yeah it's like this a baboosh super to get the full screen confirm it's not that much damage though because you know uh starting off with heck and sound sound um but yeah this kind of shenanigans Kind of how you would do that. Uh, normally, if they're trying to jump in on you, uh, just they're, hecking, they're jumping in on you. You, you normally, uh, for, if it were me, I'm pressing this, this assist. Uh, be trying to do a pressure string. So, yeah, some sort of pressure string that's like, and hit the block high, get caught by the beam because they're trying to press a low option, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. HP extend really is for like when you're down back doing the beat extend or like 
They're just backing up. They're trying to approach you, and then you HP extend. That would be, that'd be a, a me thing to do. What I would do with it. Let's see. What else we got going on here? Um, How do you deal with charged squiggly pressure? The cutscene move? Huh? As double foot butt? I'm not sure I don't understand. I'll have to ask them about that. Uh, I don't understand. Charge squiggly pressure. I mean, charge squiggly pressure, you can push block it at any time. If they're trying to dance on you, dance on you, you basically have to push block. It's just like, push block, a forward, press a button. Not seeing SBO, but like, charge squiggly as a character. So like, I it could be charge sing SBO, but like, if it's charge squiggly pressure, that means like, they're, they're stance dancing. Stance? Stancel dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> Stancel dancing. <laughs> Um, which is like, you mostly deal with that by push blocking. So, push block, up forward, press some buttons. Try it that way. Um, after the opponent gets hit, is it better to mash a DP if I feel like they'll go for a reset? Wait, what? After the opponent gets hit, is it better to mash a DP if I feel like they'll go for a reset? Or should I block and wait until the reset, until the resets moment? Nani? Oh, like, to get the hit on you. Oh. <laughs> this, reading that was weird. If they get the hit on you, is it better to mash a DP? Necessarily. You don't necessarily want to be mashing. Uh, me, personally, I never try to mash out of a reset. Uh, usually try to do some calculated reversal, for sure. Uh, but you don't necessarily want to mash, because if they find that you're mashing, then they know that you're going to burst bait you right there in that moment. So then, no matter what you press, you get an open up. It's not, it's not a great time. Um, at that point, it's like just kind of figuring out what your opponent's habits are when they're trying to reset you. Um, so like, let's say if it's the double 50-50, they have a prevalence for grabbing, so they're gonna either same side or cross-up grip, which you could just, you're putting to the air, same side cross-up grab. You could just hold down back and just wait and time it. Because otherwise, if they're going, you know, if they're going cross-up, you get a block, you can also take the grab in the air, and that's fine. Um, but that's like playing the 50-50, right? So it's just kind of, you have to gauge what your opponent's going to do based on what their, what their habits are and what they, what they like to do. I mean, it doesn't hurt to block, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to hold block just generally because you can block OS anything. Usually it's kind of hard to do, but you can, you can block OS stuff. Um, what is the PB OS and how should I go about applying it? Oh, the PB, the push block OS is like, um, doing you, it's like doing, what is it? Down, down back. What is it? Down back to, uh, stand block. And then you press grip, and, but also you press, uh, medium punch. So you can actually like, if you get down back, you can push block. If they go for grab, you get the tech, um, and yeah, so you could like down back go to stand block, down back stand block. If they go for grab, you get the tech, down back stand block. Um, if they go for a move, you can actually block the low, also block whatever is high and get the push block. Um, so that's that's the OS. Uh, I would set that up, but I don't remember how to do the random thing, like uh, random playback. I remember random playback, brother. Uh, I have to figure it out later. But definitely, if I figure it out later, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Um, this this was also something that um, Liam did a video on. So if I could find that, I will definitely link it here. Oh la 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 la. I should Val Robo open up a blocking opponent. I have ideas for mix-ups for opening up. The opponent initially, but my plan is absent once they blocked. See what I mentioned. Okay. What is this? That was Delft the Fish. Okay. Two weeks ago for what I was able to do. Okay, yeah. If you're playing Valentine, playing Robo, yeah. But, uh, let's do my team, but Robo made. Yes. Robo. That's me. Uh, oh, B moves fine. Uh, and we'll do Eliza just because I like Eliza. Use X because I love X. X is beautiful. Um, yeah. So this team, right? Uh, we'll say just 
I'll bring it up an opponent. For the most part, um, if you're playing Valentine, I will vouch for for doing doing the full screen, up back toss some stuff, to kind of bait your opponent into doing things. You want to super jump, toss yourself some, you know, mix it up with normal jump, double jump, then mix it up with like assist calls until they make a mistake, and then you can go in, press some buttons and stuff. Um, if you're playing as Robo, right? Uh, Robo, uh, full screen is the way, the truth of life. What are we doing this? They go for the jumps to go for the, the beamers. Val goes full screen, so you can actually, like, if you get a hit, confirm with the assist, and then go into magnet. It's not blocking, right? So. Do, do, do. Do that. Hey, can I time it? Hey. And go into shenanigans, right? Um, so. He moves, catch him, go and press some buttons, dash up. 2MK is a pretty decent option if you see them kind of just pushing forward at you. Um, run up 2LP uh, if they're going for aerial options. That's your anti-air button. Uh, yeah, you know, you can dash up doing things. Dash up doing dust is a is a decent thing. As long as you pair it with an assist, uh, they can kind of keep you safe. Um, yeah, what's the question again? Uh, how should Val Robo open up a blocking opponent? Yeah. For the most part, if, you're, if your opponent's just blocking and you're playing Val Robo, like really, you should just be sticking to the zoning um, when waiting for them, waiting for them to make a mistake. Uh, because at some point, they're going to see that the chip damage racks up. They're going to want to up forward buttons, and that's when you kind of combine it with the GMP stuff. Yeah, and you want to do all that stuff. And kind of get yourself set up for the punish in the mid screen by doing 2MK, uh, 2LP. Yeah, I mean, the punch not that bad. That's a decent pressure. That kind of thing. Uh, yeah. How do I deal with DPS? Oh, brother. Here is a good example of dealing with DP assist spam. I'm going to play Fuqua, right? The opponent's going to play uh, Beowulf and Big Bang. They're going to use Beat Extend. Okay, All right. Super easy, brother. Want to deal with the sys spam, right? Okay, okay. okay. We'll do it. We'll do it uh, as as a uh... Brat. Hit that assist until they tell you until they give you an indication that they want you off of them. By push blocking or whatever the heck. Punish the assist. Let them know that they're being dumb for calling this dangle assist. Especially if it's bleeding, which most of you do. You call the assist when it's bleeding and then it's gonna bleed harder. Please stop me. <laughs> Punish the assist. Let them know that it's bad. So yeah, any assist? What? Uh, which one? DP assist or any DP assist or North Knuckle or which which assist? Any DP assist? Let's go, Beowulf, and it's any DP, right? She's doing a destruction pillar, right? All right, cool. I'm gonna do the same thing, right? Cool. Here you go, right? Up back. Up back. Punish the assist. Because you can land, you can land, cancel, punish it. Your opponent's arguably gonna be pressing something, so you can hit this assist and do the same thing. You want to up back, deal with it. Yeah, 
You do the same thing. If it's Fuqua, do that. Do that because you're minus seven. That's pretty okay. That's okay. Or this, because you're minus three and you're kind of safe -ish. Up back punish it. Most most DPSs you can deal with by up backing because you, you'll be chicken blocking and then land canceling stuff. So whenever you land cancel anything, all of your all of your block stun is canceled. Um, so you can act immediately. Um, a good way to see that is if we turn on the hitboxes and stuff. Get to some slow. Do uh, 50 percent slow, right? Bonk up back. Normally when you're blocking something, right? Like for example, we're putting to pre-block. See that I'm blue when I'm blocking. Blue when blue means guard here. See, there's no blue. See when I when I guard it and when dark blue. Right? Down back means dark blue. Um, you go into light blue. And then you get yourself block. But if you're up backing, bonk, no guard. Boop, hold back, you're blue, but there's no guard. So yeah. That's how you're able to punish things. That's how you deal with any DP. Most of the DPs in this game you can actually deal with by doing... Um, up back in the land, cancel stuff. Because uh, normally the opponent's going to try to follow up to protect the assist. That's how you deal with that. Same thing as you, how you deal with Big Ban. Same sort of thing. Up back, punish. Land cancel. Use land canceling. Pretty good. Uh, this is that. Uh, that's a long one, so I'm going to wait for that. Uh, oh. How to deal with double puddle in various contexts? Coming to each, yeah. How exactly does cross up assist work? Like, which way do you block? If you are playing double, the easiest way actually is to, for, to hack and play, play my team. And just kind of see that. Um, so let's go over here. What's what's it? This one. So if you're doing a uh, flush to plus assist, right? So, so we're doing a cross up. I like to do this. I like to do that. It's a lot easier if the... That, not really the Turvon special, because Turvon didn't really come up with it. No. Flesh that Beatrice has been around for years. <laughs> not, not really like beholden to Turvon, but he does love Flesh that Beatrice. So if we do this, right? Trading options. Go. Slow mo, 25%, right? You actually want to be blocking just the direction you will you'll be facing. So but but you have to switch block to the other side. You see doubles immediately facing the other side. So you have to actually be block, blocking cross up. Uh not necessarily not necessarily cross up. But like just blocking the direction that you're facing. Um, and depending on how what, what the timing is, you can actually mix this up. So, if if the double was like doing, uh, yield the double was doing this, right? Or yield the double called it super early. Double's gotta be blocking a different way in that case. Well, let's uh, do the same thing, block the other side. Um, it's just ambiguous by the way it looks. Um, it depends on like what you're what you're doing in the moment. You still have to block the other side. So, I mean, you know, it depends on what the what the opponents do. You know, it could just be easily same side. It's a 50-50 no matter what what you looks like, you know. That's how you you start your door. You block cross up assist in that sense. Uh, uh, otherwise, you actually have to block cross up depending on what it looks like in the air and the and the on the ground. I mean, um, yeah. How to deal with double puddle? Uh, double. I don't know what you mean. How to deal with double puddle? Oh, like if you're 
the opponent's doing like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, blocking doesn't change if you, if you do the drill first and then flushed up, yeah. Like, if you did drill first and then did that, yeah. Yeah, in that case, you still have to hold just the same side you were holding before, right? There you go. See, I'm holding, I'm still holding, you know, down back. But you don't change block. If you change block, you get hit. See, if you change block, you get hit. In that case, it's a 50-50. Like, to do it first, you just hold the same block. But that's very ambiguous. <laughs> so you, you'd have to check out the timing for yourself there. See, that time, you have to hold same side. And that's crazy. That's very hard to tell. Very hard to tell. <laughs> Gun. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> it's kind of rude. It is kind of rude. Uh, let's see. One, two. That one's huge, so I'm gonna wait for that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. How to practice PvG seeing and when to do so? Uh, I definitely answered that earlier. That seems to be a thing. Um, any two bar, one reset sequences, three three kill a character for. Uh, that's highly specific. Um, and not exactly a question, it's just asking for tech. Um,. What are some best practices for good assist calls and neutral pressure on defense? How do I make sure my assist is safe? Secret all okay, yeah. I also kind of talked about that a little bit earlier too, but yeah, kind of repeat question. Uh, in what situation should I use up forward on defense? I also just answered that <laughs> earlier. Oh man, all poop. Uh, but 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 this character specific. Um, it's not really a question. Not really a question. What mix-ups do I need to add to my repertoire? How can my gameplay be more varied and less stale? How do I better use assist and neutral? And I'm talking about that. Um, there's not, I mean, you don't necessarily need to add mix-ups to your repertoire. It all depends on the characters that you're playing. I would need to know what characters you're playing to be able to give you like more um, specific help with that. But like, just, you kind of do the mix that seems the most ambiguous at least in my opinion when i was like learning this game i just kind of did what what seemed the most ambiguous like like i usually default to this because that's very ambiguous you see the bots just blocking both ways um but like um as i've learned how to play this team Oh, let's take off blocking type. Uh, I've learned that there's faster double mix that's a lot lower to the ground and works a lot better in terms of like aerial mashing. So it's a. Uh, I'll show it this here, right? So ba, 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 because that is immediately a cross up. They have to block cross, they have to block low, they have to block throw, and they also have to block overhead at the same time. So that was pretty harsh. Um, Ba, 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 ba. And you can also go same side, and it looks like it's going cross up. Uh, this is very fast double mix. Um, that's the reason why I do it. Uh, but like, you kind of, well, at least for me, I just kind of figured out what seemed to be working best. And it depends on what kind of. Like, in general, if you want to have mix-ups into your game plan, figure out a throw reset. This is a common throw reset. You just kind of delay launcher. Like, launcher delay up forward grip. That's a common grab reset. Um, stopping all your pressure. Going for grip is a normal normal common reset as a mix-up tool. Uh, jab into throw. Tick throwing. Common mix-up reset. Because you can do that into low. Plus, frame, plus frames into low. And plus four into low. That's that's a common mix-up. Um, if it's anything character specific, you know, like... How's the lab stream work? You just ask some questions in the chat and then I can try to figure it out for you in the lab, basically. Um, I also just answer questions based on what I've seen from all the uh, Skullgirls forms. Um, all the get great forms that people put in. And then 
If they have any questions, I copy paste them into the lab stream questions in our Discord. I answer questions and they kind of lab things out. Um, but yeah, uh, better. Yeah, I am a roster main. <laughs> I do play Eliza, but I am a roster main. The band specific mixups. Yes, exactly. I guess. In that sense, yeah, there, there's ca character-specific mix-ups that you can do that are not necessarily, like, a need, uh, but, like, are useful in mixing up your opponent. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yes, I do play Eliza. Eliza is a fun character. Um, for those who don't know, I'm a roster main, uh, which means I play everyone. Um, not including Dahlia, because Dahlia's not finished, so I haven't messed with her. Um, but I do play everybody, including Peacock, but I refuse to play Peacock. Um, we'll just do this in double, whatever the heck. Uh, do you have a question for Eliza? Because Eliza's a fun character. Hmm. Oh, my game might have died. Hey! Skullgirl's just dying out of nowhere. We. Huzzah for Skullgirl's just dying. Roster except Pete. I mean, I play P. I just don't want to play P. My game is quiet again. Poop. There we go. But the game quiet. So, what? Burst baits for her? I'm wondering what solid options were. That's a solid one. That's a solid one. That's a solid one. Uh, you can you can dash back and do grippy. Uh, fun thing, uh, if they decide to not burst bait there. They have to get hit with the uh, the knockdown. So, uh, about let's say ten frames. To the punish there. And loop it. Always good. Uh, oh, let's see. That hurts, maybe. Yeah, it's a long while. So if you get the like the the hard knockdown. Let's go. Yeah. Makes sense. We get like the hard knockdown. People try to delay tech. You can just walk forward, and they, and then on their recovery, they some sometimes you walking forward will trigger. Will be like, oh, they're gonna do something. So I need to press the button. So yeah, that's always a thing. Um, it's always good. Uh, but, 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 but. by the way, that is this burst plate is repeatable. Uh, mid screen. Hold on. Yeah. Bonk. That's a burst bit. You can get the uh, burst bit here. Who's that? get shenanigans here but like yeah you can get a stand mini punch burst bait if you're if you're smooth you 
shenanigans. Uh, but yeah. Uh, The burst right there. It's always good. Uh, you can also do the same thing. Same sort of thing, uh, but you want to back up actually since it moves it forward. Same sort of thing. Uh, yeah. That's also a thing. That's a thing right there. Also get that we got top back. It's a little bit, but yeah, those are some burst big mixes. We get to land that a little bit easier, but yeah, that's how you can do some Eliza things. Yeah, Blair, how you do? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, Might actually pause it for right now. If we got any questions in the chat, I'd be glad to ask them. Otherwise, I'll probably just stop the stream right here for now. I'm gonna do a Liza mix in the meantime. Any more questions? There's a way to get this across. Off. Hey, there you go. That's crossing up because I'm landing on the other side. It has to do with, with the way that Eliza's facing while landing. Um, So when she lands, she's facing, she's actually still facing to the right, um, but the input's still coming out from the left. So that's why it ends up being cross up. Otherwise, she would actually autocorrect. Uh, like this. You see, she autocorrects. Um, but if you time it correctly, you can actually get her to, to continue facing the same, the other side. The same side. A 
little hard though. It doesn't always, it's not always consistent. Shenanigans. That's what the opponent can do. They can press any falling button, they can mash, air mash, anything. Um, it all depends on what they're doing, though. It's like, a lot of contestable things kind of get stuffed by that because it's a huge button. Uh, 5 HK. Kind of hard, as you're, you're playing the 50-50 every single time. If you do it lower to the ground, it's kind of harder to contest. That's repeatable. Uh, frame kills for incoming setups, or do you just know timing from speeds? What What do you mean by frame kills, brother? What does that mean? Fugua Red. I've uh, put in my team. Alright, brother. Do this. Incoming. Personally, I just know what the timing is. So, like, if we're, if we're doing this right. Well, like, I just know. Yeah. If we move to auto time. Oh, yeah. I do, I do that all, often and forever. Yeah, always, always done something like that. Oh, cool. Do it. Oh, I don't know. Half meter. Like it. One more one. I just kind of know by experience. I just know my experience that that you know whenever I can kill a character I know it's like one two three punches or something like that uh, if it's like doing this it's pop up bam bam we're in there yeah pop up bam bam pop up pop up I I just know so <laughs> it's like yeah for, so whenever I'm killing the character um, it's sort of the same thing except slightly longer. So it's like, you got to time it a little more, she's like, bop, 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 and then you go in for the, for the setup. Yeah. I just know. I've just been playing this game for so long that I just know what it looks like. Um, um, and it's actually kind of good to get into practice with moves like that. Um, because then you, whenever you're done spending your bar right, just like, but on the bar right, whenever you're whiffing moves, you build meter. So it's good to, for the timing. It's good for when you're just kind of building meter stuff. Gives yourself a bar in the corner. You never know. That was good. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? If not, I'll just dive in the stream. Pick it up for next week, you know. It'll be another lab stream next week since next week is Evo. It'll be cool to get gamers going to Evo. I was going to restream that. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, so it'll be a live stream today, live stream next week too, just so we don't interrupt Evo stuff. Am I having a good day? I'm having a pretty decent day actually. Um, the projector in one of our main rooms went down, and this is like maybe like a, I don't know, five year old projector or something like that. Um, I don't know the the mechanism that controls the iris for the lens inside the projector stopped working and my boss and i were just like let's just open this up turn it into a science project so we we heckin unscrewed the entire thing removed the the heckin the lens uh 
unscrewed the iris mechanism from the main board, applied some WD-40, and it worked again. <laughs> so that was an accomplishment. We didn't have to like send it out to some dang old company. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, solving problems. Woo! As an AV technician. <laughs> that was cool. At the very least. Uh, it's, it's been otherwise chill. Yeah. Otherwise, probably just end it here. If we, uh, we've got no more questions and stuff. Let me check. Check anywhere else. Right. I'm gonna end stream right here. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by, asking some questions. We can talk about this game. I like talking about this game, uh, figuring things out, you know. Figuring things out in this game is pretty fun. Uh, if you'd like to see more scholars from us, there's always Skull Girls Get Great every Saturday at 7 p.m. EST. Almost every Saturday, I should say. Because uh, then there's a lab stream next week that's happening at 7 p.m. Um, but there's also Skull Girls B Great that we have on Wednesday. That is our Wednesday tournament at 8 p.m. EST. Um, join up for those whenever those signups come up for that. We'll see you all next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.